Now the view you're going to get when you implement this is a view that should look very familiar. It's Excel. So all the same things you'd see in Excel, data and charts. That's right, charts are supported. It's very important as you can see it down here. Uh, those are supported and you'll get the same look and feel as you normally get within Excel. So uh, sheet tabs, outline buttons, drop down arrows, all those things are supported. Now as I had demonstrated before, you can actually edit a few of the cells in the spreadsheet. That's done through this, it's labeled here as parameters. It's done through these parameters. The name of the web part is called the Excel Web Access web part. And it is a web part just like any other web part, so it supports connections. Now the idea of, again, the idea of connections is that uh, clicking or interacting on one web part can initiate a connection to a second web part. So, for example, if you had a uh, well, if you had a web part that was a list of pi tags, you could easily set up a connection so that that would pass the tag that you've selected over to this web part, and that would therefore update the Excel spreadsheet, show you data from that tag that you selected. So, again, interactions with other web parts is available. So, there's a lot of nice integration that's available to you without having to write any code. Again, one of the real strengths here of uh, web parts. Again, I do want to reiterate the heavy lifting here is has been done by Microsoft. Uh, Excel Web Access web part is a web part developed by Microsoft. It is available only in the newer versions of SharePoint, SharePoint 3 or Windows um, either WSS or MOSS. So we are making sure that our add-in PyDataLink works with that new web part from Microsoft.